Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Welcome to the Gamey Daddy channel. So today I'm going to be talking about survival and I'll also be talking about my prediction for PvP in Tom Clancy's The Division 2. Now I have Division 1 right here and that's because I want to show something that I feel we're going to see somewhat of a picture of in The Division 2. Now I don't have any information privy to what Massive is doing with The Division 2. I just go with, you know, some of my premonitions and some of my own ideas based on things that we've seen in the past. And a lot of what we've seen in the past is how they've deployed content in the Division 1. And if you follow that pattern, you can somewhat guess uh, or make a very good prediction of, you know, some of the things that they're doing. Now, this could be absolutely wrong, but it is basically my prediction and I'll throw it out there anyways. Now, I think Massive is most likely working on a PvP and PvE mode after the summit before they deploy the Division 3 or even talk about it. And I think there are a few reasons why. The first reason is right now the community is in a mixed place and PvP and PvE players are probably, you know, looking at the game from different angles. And what's actually much more pressing, though, is that PvP is not getting or hasn't gotten any content in a long time. And PvE, right now with the summit, some people are still kind of wondering, you know, how is this going to provide sustainability? And then you have the Division 1 old school agents who are saying in order for them to be able to provide something that will really help the fan base, they need to bring back this mode called survival. Some people in Division 2 do not know what survival is. And it's actually a mode where you actually go into New York and you play a different narrative. And it has basically modifiers in the entire game and the whole map becomes this entire haunted ice storm, a blizzard where you go in and you basically have no weapons other than your sidearm and you have to farm for everything that is even up to the point of your clothes, your outfits to keep you warm. And one good thing about this mode is that it actually has a PvP and a PvE option. I know in a division game, you can go into a mode where there is a PvP and a PvE. This was actually very, in, very, very uh, well accepted in my opinion. The only thing is I've been hearing rumors that a lot of players did not play it. And I think that's the way it was structured. You go in there and you have to spend, you know, about maybe 45 minutes if you wanted to kind of take your time and pick it your way because you were injured. And so you were in a race against time in order for you to try to get out of the, you know, the, the New York area by, you know, making your way into the DZ, finding an antiviral and then extracting, having, you know, after fighting hunters. And so it's a very unique experience. And I think right now the Division 2's community is actually ripe for that kind of content in both aspects. Both the PvE side is going to enjoy something like this because the entry level is very low. You can go in a team of four people and then people who are not wanting to do raids can just stay here and just farm and play and enjoy the mode if Massive will make it a lot more engaging than it was in the Division 1. I will have to say the Division 1 version was lacking in some things because, you know, chests and boxes and all those things that you could loot from were all all in very similar they were in the same location every time you loaded the map but the only difference was you got dropped in a random part of the map and you kind of had to work your way into the dark zone from wherever you got dropped in now if they would you know maybe switch out all those chests and all those things it would be really fine but that's not necessarily the you know the topic of conversation the type of conversation is something like this that has both modes is where i see that pvp is going to be able to get something that comes with this game and why I'm saying so, uh, that PvP is most likely not going to be getting its own mode is because if you look at the player base for the Division 2, the Division 2's player base is very PvE oriented. It's not anybody's fault, it's just the game is kind of designed like that. It really does encourage a lot of PvE play. And this is not your regular, you know, more competitive PvP side. A lot of people that play the Division 2, they get their PvP action elsewhere. They don't go to the Division to get it because this game is actually very different in the way that PvP works. And some people don't want to engage in that. So you see more people gravitate towards the pve side of things and since people are gravitating more to that it seems like massive is actually following that and catering to that audience because this is the audience that actually brings them money think about it they're here to make money they're here to make video games but they're a business as well and whatever will earn them uh, that check is what they're going to go with so if pvp players are going to get anything they're probably going to get it as something that's piggybacked off 
the back of a PVE based content that most likely has a PVP modifier so that that money can come in for the studio. Because if there's a way that they, they want to do any PVP content just exclusively for PVP players, I don't see I don't see how there are enough PVP players that are going to support that content. Because if you look at even the free and the paid content that they've deployed in Tom Clancy's The Division 2, I'm talking raids and I'm talking Warlords of New York, a lot of it is very PVE oriented. And so I think that's where it lies, where that financial aspect has to be triggered by something that will boost sales and sales have to be enough to justify all of that development work and everything. Now, this is just my opinion. I know people will say things like I'm not paying for another DLC and all that. I have moved past that. I'm at the point where I'm just playing the division and the division two as it suits me. I'm not really worried about a lot of the other aspects of the game that are necessarily, uh, you know, I would say that that are big downers in this video. If I if there's a problem, I usually talk about that in separate videos itself. And I think some people watch my videos out of context. It's weird. I don't want to be, uh, you know, uh, a, a huge uh, shameless uh, you know, advertiser, but you would have to watch a lot of my videos in context when I actually discuss these issues. So this is how I think PvP players are going to be able to get content in this game. Because even with the Division 1, a lot of the content was also catered towards PvE players. Underground, full PvE, play, uh, you know, game mode as well. And then now you're seeing the Summit that's coming to the Division 2, which is kind of a spin, of, uh, spin off of Underground that also is a full PvE game mode as well. And so I think it goes to show that, you know, the PvP community is actually a very small portion of the game. And, you know, the development team don't necessarily, you know, have the, cap the capability to cater for them right now from a financial standpoint. It's crazy to hear, but they, they advertise that Dark Zone or something that attracted a lot of PvP players. But if they will do something like Survival, Survival did have a really huge aspect to it. Where guys walk, you know, jump into the PvP and just, you know, farm items around the open world and fight for the last person to extract. That was actually a really fun experience for some people anyways. Me, not so fun. I'm not trying to come in here and suffer and farm and then some random person will shoot me after like 30 minutes of me dealing with stuff. Some people, they're fine with that. Not me, if you get what I mean. So... I just wanted to share that idea with you guys here in the community. I wanted to hear your thoughts as well. Um, I know a lot of what I've shared may be just, you know, uh, something that you may not agree with. But, you know, like I said, these are my own, uh, you know, premonitions. These are the things that I sense might happen. Uh, with this game very soon but that's not to say pvp content isn't coming i think there will be but i think it will be piggybacked off of future division uh, 2 content that's pve perhaps in the nature of a survival game okay that's it for me i'll talk to you guys hopefully in another video thank you for your time and audience and we'll see you in another video like i said peace